morning guys it is a uh, guys and girls it is a privilege to be sharing with you this morning again um it's youth day happy youth day do we say happy youth day i remember what it was like to be youth uh, some time ago uh, so yeah i hope you enjoy this day and that you that you guys really think about what is important in your life and where what defines you i want to share with you a message that my three struggles with in my walk with Christ during when I was younger and um, walking with Christ wasn't a quick fix it wasn't something that oh, um, I've got Christ on my side now life on life's terms is not there anymore everything is a, in this perfect little bubble and that's a lie that is a lie completely yes walking with Christ is fulfilling and when you surrender to Jesus it is it is something that's amazing in in the joy and the peace that you find in your Savior, Lord Jesus, and to put your trust in there. But I had struggles, and I want to share those three struggles quickly with you. The first struggle was surrendering to Jesus, to completely hand over my life to the Lord. Every time I surrendered to the Lord Jesus, there was still something I had to fix or something I had to work on, and that is life. Life on life's terms just work like that. You will always have to better yourself. Once again, I was trying to fix my life so hard that I didn't leave space for, for God at all to bring a change in my life and to control my life. And God is in control, not me. The I had to die to understand that, that God is in control. I had to work on stuff, yes, but I needed to surrender to the Lord Jesus so that the Holy Spirit could lead me and teach me and guide me. And surrendering to Jesus... When I gave all to him, it didn't take life on life's terms away. It did not. I used to go fetch that problems very quickly. Problems about my future. Problems about am I good enough. Abandonment problems. Um, rejection problems. Problems that I wanted to please the world. And when I surrendered to Jesus, that completely changed. Now surrendering to Jesus is also you let the Holy Spirit fill you. You let the, if Lord, if you take Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you ask the Holy Spirit to fill you, he teaches you and he guides you and he shows you the path that you should be taking. And there's no greater freedom than the Holy Spirit leading you. In John 8 verse 36, it says, if Christ sets you free, you are free indeed. Not I'm going to set you free a little bit or I'm going to, I'm in the process of setting you free or I'm in a week's time, we've got an appointment and I'll set you free. No, if Jesus is your Lord and Savior, He sets you free. And He sets you free indeed, right there and then. You need to step into that freedom. You need to walk into that freedom. And live that freedom. The second struggle that I faced was to trust the Lord completely. I would say I would trust the Lord completely, but my actions and my thoughts showed differently. And that wasn't cool. The word says in Matthew 5 verse 37 that your yes should be your yes and your no should be your no. Anything more than that is evil. There is no buts and there's no maybes in this. If we say we trust God, then we need to fully surrender that trust to Him. For He knows the plans that He has for us. Again, I'm quoting Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that says, for I know the plans I have, have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper, not to harm you. Plans to give you a future. Hope and a future. What an awesome promise. And my third biggest struggle was to make the right, right choices. Difficult and not so difficult choices. Spiritual and life on life's terms choices. My spiritual choices was fully to surrender to my Lord and my Savior. And let the Holy Spirit fill me. And... That the Holy Spirit could guide me and lead me so that I make the right choices in my future. And my, did that take the daily life on life's terms away? No, it did not. Did it make it easier? Yes. Because I found my strength in Jesus. So I want you to think about surrendering to the Lord completely. Trusting the Lord completely. And then making the right choices in obedience to the Lord completely. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you are blessed. Um, for those that is busy with schoolwork at home, be blessed and know that if God is standing for you and you're living in obedience and surrendering to Him every day, nothing will stand against you. Be blessed, guys.